Peace Tower Prosperity Family. This is Amir, the Chicago crypto hustler, Bitcoin block bully, coming to you once again with the early roster show of coffee and crypto. I do apologize for the late start, family. I do apologize for the late start. I was having some technical. Well, I've been running now, though. And as we can see, a little bit different from yesterday, a little bit of a uh, mixture in the market between, you know, red and green. Yesterday, we had mostly a red, uh, excuse me, a green day, but not even mostly. Everything was green up yesterday. And today we looking like a little bit of mixed emotions. Um, XRP dropping 1.71 percent, Ethereum dropping uh merely 0.1 percent. Um, EOS dropping six percent of its gains in the last 24 hours. Let's see, XMR dropping 2.32 percent, BCH dropping 3.19 percent within the last 24. So we're definitely going to take a look at these cryptos, some of the top runners. In fact, let me. Do that now. Let's see. Let's see who. Hmm. Let's look at the top 200 games within the last 24 hours, and we're looking at coins and tokens. So let me see. Factum. If this is fact. Oh man, Factum. Factum been running for. Uh, let me see if they got a seven day on here, which I think they do. Factum has been running for about two weeks now. Let's see. Yep. Let's look at a seven day performance. We got Bitcoin SV up over 107% with over the last uh, seven days. Factum over up 25%. Hmm. Okay. Factum up over 25% within the last seven days. Bitcoin private up 80%. Trading at $2.70. DGB, Digibyte up 14% within the last seven days. Smartland. Up 18, no, what a smart lands up 19.47% within the last seven days. Currently trading, is it currently trading at seven dollars and 73 cents? Hold on, <laughs> hold on, is that where we're at right now? Let's see, that can't be right. No, 630. What is this thing? And uh, 360 is you off like that? Hold on, let's see. Smartland seven dots. Now this could be the average. Let's let's hmm. It could just be the average of all the prices, but let's see. Let's see what prices we got across the market. Pretty sure it's not around seven dollars and thirty cents yet. Nope. So we got six sixty three, five seventy seven, six sixty three, and six fifteen across the uh different markets that are honored on here. Though it is available on a number of other markets. One being the Stellar X platform, in fact. Let me bring that up now. And I do apologize. Let me see. Let me get over here so I can see what viewers we have. Like I said, I do apologize for the late introduction, family. I do apologize for the late introduction. I am running a little bit in, uh, behind. Let me see. So let me log in real quick. There we go. And I can bring that back over here. So we see Smartlands right now trading at 37 even. Nice pullback. Very nice pullback. Very nice pullback. In fact, hold on. Let me see what I'm looking at. Wow. Okay. Good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, okay. I had to go back and check check on some of my orders, family. Uh, every single order I placed has gotten hit. Has gotten hit down to the thirty four mark. Excuse me, thirty five mark. My last order. In fact, I'm gonna show you what my last order was. Where is it? Should, we should see it in here. It was thirty five four four four. You know, I, I I placed my orders around the forty four number. Where is it? I could have placed it lower, I see. Let me see where we at. There we go. Right here. This is me right here. 354404. And I grabbed up the last. I had a couple of little XLM left. And I grabbed up what one almost one and a half of uh smart lens. And that was at 35. 35 uh XLM point forty four. You know, some changing in another four. 
right now currently trading at 36.4. Okay, so let me see, rising back up. Let's see what we're looking at here. This is the day chart. Let's look at a 30 minute chart on Stellar Lumens. I mean, on Smart Lands, excuse me, on the Stellar X platform. Let me see. We just traded at 37 Stellar Lumens uh, at five minutes ago, not even five minutes ago. So they're closing up the gap, as you can see already. And this is one of the most talked about tokens over here. Let's see what the chat box is talking about. This is a long term investment. It will be at $1 soon enough. Coinbase bring it higher than it drops. Never buy a pump coin, never catch a falling knife. I definitely agree with that. Let's see. I know buying yesterday was my mistake. I just, just two weeks ago, XLM was 26 cents, now it's 16 cents. That's an easy 40% uh, up for me. But now I'm choosing to invest in XLM. Big Ben, don't start selling. Hold on. Don't start selling season. But you can get a lot out of these uh these troll boxes or chat chat boxes on some of these platforms. To see what the sentiment is on that platform period let's see if you're not already made 20x now and not holding the token with the price of 16 which okay xlm pumps now see yeah you have zero slt you're just seeing what they're talking about within the little chat group let me see let me get over here so let me get it, get this up and running. Let me get to the uh, top 20. The first thing we're going to go through. Let me go ahead and reintroduce myself. Anyone that's just now tuning in for the first time, and those that may be returning, peace, power, and prosperity. Family, my name is Amir, the Chicago Crypto Hustle. Bit. Let you once again. And I want to thank you for joining me on the early roster show of Coffee and Crypto. We go through not only the top 20 coins in the market, but we also take a look at the biggest gainers, biggest losers, top runners. Do a little bit of charting for those that want to take the time out and give suggestions on what coins that they feel should be charted at what point they may want to take a uh, sneak peek at and we also do news now i did do a couple of updates earlier on the channel i don't know if anyone seen those videos let's see where we at right now we got 138 billion see if we're losing the game so we got a th well, starting off right now at 9 50 a.m central chicago time we got 138 billion four hundred and thirty three million seven hundred and seventy two thousand nine hundred and ninety six dollars within a cryptocurrency market cap. We get a 24 hour volume of nineteen billion two hundred and seventy four million four hundred and fifty three thousand one hundred and three dollars. BTC dominance, which is oddly enough, doesn't usually work hand in hand when it's rising, but it's up 54 uh, percent actually. And the price is actually up two point one percent within the last four hours. So that's uh, actually interesting. Let me see. Uh, there we go there we go all right got that on mute right now you got over 2076 different cryptocurrencies for you to choose from and over 15,770 different markets for you to shop on getting into the top 20 and now i can finally okay peace 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 god what's going on is it true that the shorter the channel the progression is more likely on the price direction change let's take a look um always remember there's nothing definite there's nothing that okay most likely yeah most likely if you see a uh if it's not in golf if it's not bigger than the previous then it shows that the amount of demand wasn't there for us so let's go take a look at tron for instance when we look at tron let me turn our, our emas off now does this stand true well let's take a look look at this there's a couple other things that you want to pay attention to. In fact, I'm going to send you a, a, a candlestick cheat sheet. Because you see right here, we have a small bullish candlestick that is clearly smaller than the previous bearish candlestick than that previous day. What do we have? We had the bulls come and take rain, pull, pull rain. So what we're looking at right now, you got to look at the volume bars. You got certain indicators. You have MACD. Um, what I'm actually using down here right now is uh, ooh, excuse me, money flow index with the uh, um, what is it with the MACD? Let me see if I should have. Where am I using currently? Ah, right, here it is. The relative strength index. Right, let me go ahead and draw this one. That's what I'm using. The relative strength index with the money flow index. So 
As you can see on this one, it gives you certain indicators. Let me see. Let me turn it down. Pretty much like any and all oscillators indicators, you want to use them in conjunction with each other and use some to back up the other. So MACD, you'll want it to back up the RSI. If you got bearish or bullish divergence in one, you want to see it in the other, just sort of reinforce what you may be seeing in price action, which is going to be the opposite when you're looking at divergence. So when we look at Tron right now, we're looking at a day chart, right? Um, what I did was I used Fib Fibonacci. I pulled from our swing low to our swing high. We can see that we had resistance here at the first level of what's that 23.6 on the fib, which you already know is gonna be there's gonna be a resistance and support levels as we move up or move down, depending on how you're looking at it. Now, when we're looking at the crossover on the MACD, see we got a crossover to the upside. You see that our negative momentum bars are losing the coloration, meaning when they're darker, it's a stronger sell-off, should I say, than when it's lighter. And you can see also that it's losing momentum. It's actually going into an enclave, if I'm not mistaken, shape. Now, you also have the indicator right here. You can see you have the green cross, which is usually the indicator of a buy. Depending on how you look at this, remember, well, everyone has to notice that watches me. I didn't go to school for none of this. I didn't take no courses for none of this. I use these things and I make sense of them myself, like uh, completely. I'll go on here and I'll look for something new. Let's see. Because I don't know what all the indicators on here are. In fact, uh, what was that? Hmm. What did this do? Ah, okay. Let's get rid of that. Let's add this. Awesome oscillator. Let's see. Okay. So looking at this awesome oscillator, I can already tell when we cross over into the red, pretty much you're going into a downtrend. Cross over into the green, that's buying power. Quick dip. Went into the positive. You know what I mean? It's, it's like once you understand the system, once you get a basic understanding of the system, you'll be able to look at a lot of and not so much. I mean, you could always back it up and go actually read the definition of the tool you use and see exactly how they intend you to use it. But me, myself, and I, great rising queen. How you doing, Miss Iola Hickman? Me, myself, and I, I usually look at this in a sense and just make whatever sense I can of it. And then I back that up with, you know, my trading or just prior history just to see if I'm on point with whatever my assessment of that tool or indicator is. You know, so always remember, you can show somebody how to use like let me see i can show you how to get a hammer a saw screwdrivers and all that and show you the ways of building the house but when you go build your house you're going to build it in your own way you know what i mean you're going to use them tools in your own way same thing with this when you learn about this stuff you don't really technically have to use anybody else's strategy to using these different tools and indicators you use your own that is in um understanding of your own comprehension level you know what i mean it, this, it doesn't have to be as complicated as some make it seem you can make it e as easy as you want so let's see let me get my money flow back that's something that i'm, I'm using this new experiment with mm, that ain't what i want so I want to use it when I do any type of charting for a couple of days, a couple of weeks, just so I can get, get familiar with it. Here we go. I hope that answered your question. Okay, yeah, yep, yep, I got the thumbs up. My man's, my man's. All right, so getting on with the countdown. Coming in at number one, we got Big Bank Hang Bitcoin trading at $4,293, up 2.1%. Coming in at number two, we got Ripple XRP trading at $0.37, cents, up one7 excuse me. In the negative 1.7%. Uh, Coming in at number three, we got Ethereum trading at $118, down 0.07%. Pretty much even. It pretty much ain't moved. Coming in at number four, we got Bitcoin Cash trading at $182, down 3.4%. Stellar Loom is coming in at number five, actually up 3%. Coming in at number six, we have EOS. EOS right now trading at $3, down 6%. Coming in at number seven, we got Litecoin. Litecoin trading at $34, down 1.39%. Coming in at number eight, we got Tether. 
tether, which is usually the cryptocurrency equivalent to the American dollar, but they do have a number of different stable coins available to the public now versus using tether because tether has had a lot of a lot of discrepancies, a lot of um, hmm. there's a lot of uncertainty around tether. People aren't sure if they actually have the dollars to back up what they're saying they have the backup. So. You, know, you pick your poison of stable coins to use bitcoin cash sv or bitcoin sv coming in at 95 bucks mm. 95 bucks down 3.4 percent we you recently had a rally from 65 to 140 right now we're tracing back down to 95. let's see how it looks on the chart mm. Check it out versus Tether, though. There we go. Four hours. That's what we broke out of that down slope and trend. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. So what do we see going on right now? Swing low to swing high. Fibs coming down. We met support at 50. Bounced off. Got stopped out at 23. Right now, we did have minor support at the 38. Remember, your, your uh, usual levels of retracement on a, a rally. Are between the 38 and the 61 percent retracement level so what you're usually looking for in a retracement is between this level right here between 38 and 61 these are your normal levels of retracement before you either reverse or continue whichever in whichever trend and usually if you break through these levels like right now if we break through these to the downside then the up open trend that we were in is pretty much broken but if we're able to find support here, even if we consolidate for a while on 38 right now, as we get you're getting actually getting stopped out by the 38, what's being treated as a resistance. But if we're able to break that back again and use it as a consolidation period, you could continue your upward journey, or you could lose exhaustion and break to the downside. That's why you want to know exactly where your levels of support and or resistance are at. And in this case, on Bitcoin Cash SV, you got support at 89.99. Below that, you got support at 77.65. Overhead resistance is at 102 and 117 respectively moving right along with the countdown coming in at number 10 we got cardano cardano right now at four cents up 5.7 percent beautiful beautiful uh coming in at number 11 we got tron tron right now with a penny up 9.7 percent another another very nice one. true learning the rules and breaking the right 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 because everything is that reality is what you make it you know what i'm saying that shit, whatever you want to make sense You'll make it make sense. Back. And me and you agree that brown is blue, and we're going to use it just to our understanding. Anytime we talk about something blue, you and I know we're talking about something brown, but that's between me and you. You draw what I'm saying? So, moving right along, we're looking at number 12, Monero. Monero right now trading at $61.40, still up from where it was trading at prior within the last couple of days. Um, It's down 2.3% after a rally of, what was it? It was up over 6 or 7%. Coming in number 13, we got IOTA trading at 30 cents, up 2.2%. Coming in number 14, we got Dash trading at $96.94, down 0.3%. Coming in number 15, we got Neem trading at 7 cents, down 2.5%. Coming in number 16, we got Binance Coin. Binance right now trading at a beautiful price of $5.35, still up in the positive 0.1%. Uh, Binance was actually trading around the $4 level. And I told y'all, I'm like, man, them, them some real, real nice prices. Binance, Ethereum Classic, even at $4.87. I mean, look at Neo at eight. I remember people were buying Neo at 150 bucks. You know what I'm saying? Rushing to get it at 80. I mean, really rushing to get it at 100 dollars. Now it's eight dollars and 34 cents. That's why I say that whole hodl mentality. I prefer stop limits and stop losses in order to get me knocked out and give me a chance to re-enter at a uh, earlier, uh, at a later date and at an earlier price level. Coming in number 19. Well, no. Coming in number 17, we got NEO uh, trading at $8.34, it's up 0.7%. Coming in number 18, we got Ethereum Classic trading at $4.87, down 0.7%. And number 19, we got Zcash trading at 81 bucks, up 2.5%. And then coming in last but not least, knocking out Tezos, VeChain. I thought it was another coin that was at number 20 recently. Hmm. Oh, right. Back in the go, we got Bitcoin Gold actually down 1%, trading at $18.87. Tell me that is just up to coins in the market. Let's go. See who's running right now, at least within the top 100. Mm. Bitcoin Private, Factum, Siren Labs, AL, Komodo. Ah, coming in. Mithril, they just added this to the Binance Exchange market. It's up 12%. Mm. 
Verge, Aon, Walton, the OX, Chainlink, Tron, Odom, Civix, Zilliqa, Stratus, Basic Attention Token, Wax, V Chain, Cardano, Golem, Digibyte, Waves. Like I forgot to post some uh, news about Waves. They're releasing their mobile. They're re releasing their mobile device for uh, iOS and Google, if I'm not mistaken. No, it's been released already, if I'm not mistaken. They released a mobile version of their. Uh, Hey, Wolf, peace, power, and prosperity, broski. How you doing, man? Fellow Illinois right there. Chicago, what's going on, brother? But yeah, Wave just released some real nice news. I think I told y'all around 96 cent Waves was in the bad bag, even at a dollar. When you look at the technology that Waves has and whether they're based out of Russia and what you're able to do and what you need in order to operate on that platform as far as making your own digital asset, you need Waves tokens. So, I mean, if I was looking in the future and I wanted to use or utilize the Waves platform in order to create any type of asset, or crowdfunding, sharing, loyalty points, whatever the case may be, I'm going to need Waves token to do it. So do I want to buy these Waves token out of there, a dollar, a dollar 18, in preference for the future of what I'm going to be using it for versus just selling it? Or do I want to, and see, once again, it goes into, are you in this for the money or are you behind this for the tech? So I guess it, it just depends on what your outlook on crypto is. Uh, KuCoin shares, Steam at 38 cents is a, man, that's a steal. In fact, let's go take a look at Steam. We haven't looked at Steam in a while. Let's see. Let's look at Steam real quick. I mean, Steaming, excuse me. Let's see. Let's see how they've been doing. Oh, let me get out of this. I do apologize. This is the brothers. Let me log out of this. This is these brothers page. Um, where's the log out at? Ah, there we go. There we go. All right. Now let's go look at trending. Let's see what's been going on with Steam. Let's see if the payouts are still coming in. Let's see if people are still making money over here. Ah, here we go. Let me see that. Let me get rid of that. That's what it was. It was like trending. Okay. New. It was hot. Now I'm really looking at the prices that people are getting paid out. Original art photography series. Okay. Nineteen dollars. Promoted. Okay. Let's look at trending though. So let me see. That is the real wolf, John Denny, illegal. A true story of love, revolution, and crossing borders. I'm a journalist for publications such as The Guardian, Vice, the Diplomat. Very interesting. So this individual, in writing, has made two hundred and eleven dollars. Um, let's see. His pending payout is two hundred and eleven dollars, which is. 1.06 steam, 1.06 steam back dollars, 256 steam, and 258 steam uh powers. And within over the last six days, got 553 upvotes with 21 comments. We have here beyond uh SBD, a stable coin for the world. Until the bill market, SBD had been a great means to hold a stable amount. This one right here got a 1,764 upvotes, 80 comments, and he made. 200 or he has a penny pad of $296.21. 1.48 of that is steam back dollars, 358.54 steam, 362.16 steam power. So I mean, regardless of what the the and man, that's key. 38 cent right now, too. Imagine all these steams. Imagine the steam when the price rises. No, no, no. Steam back dollars ain't pegged to the uh no nah, uh steam back dollars ain't pegged to the dollar. I can tell you right now. That's SBD. So we got steam back dollars. Let's look at it versus dollar on bit. Right now it's trying to get 83 cents. Let's look at it on a monthly. Open this up. So you see it's traded as high as 18 bucks before. That was in December. That was during the you know, the run up of the great FOMO. Um, other than that, I guess it was 
pretty much trailing around a dollar. Let's see, steam back to dollar. Let's look at it versus Bitcoin, see if we got more fluctuation. So now, nah, yeah, it's pretty much a stable currency, I believe, for steam. But your payouts come in many different forms on the uh, Steam it, uh, platform. Now, I do have a couple of uh, pages on here. Let me see if I can find. I got Chicago Crypto. Let me see if I can find myself. Hold on. All right, here we go. Is one of my post guidelines for a real man. Uh, blah 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 blah. This is a real good one. This is something I wrote while I was incarcerated. Um, you know, just and this is this is just a social media site where you do the same thing you do on Facebook and you know other social media sites. Said you get upvotes and you get paid for it. So you know, man is uh, is his own beliefs, his own ideas, his own actions. A man is not bound on any other man. Only God, if it is in his beliefs. A man wants to marry a woman and establish a strong family. When a man is ready to build a family, he selects a woman he likes, a woman he knows how to love and live. A man knows what he's supposed to do and not to do. If a man selects the wrong path, his punishment is between himself and the creator of his believing. A man must work. Hard work is a man's way of providing for and demonstrating that he loves his family. Look up to your father, positive male figure, you know, because everyone doesn't have a father, but still become a man who stands on his own feet and works up, uh, for his own accomplishments. Men don't mumble. They speak loud and clear. Either shut up or so, uh, shut up, so speak out. Uh, a son cherishes his father, or he should. The most important thing a son can do after following the tenets of his faith is to obey his father. Um, when entering a man, you should be greeted by a man of the house. And it, it, like I said, I wrote this, what, probably like five years, what, 2009 when I was across the I think 2009. Um, so a lot of my beliefs back then, my belief system back then, and what I know now is a little bit different. I still wanted to share it with the I put on my page. Let's see. Chicago Coins. Right now, I got 626 followers, 88 posts. I got 13 cents on that one, 14 cents on that one, 12, 40. Damn, but I haven't been over here in a while. Okay. So even looking at this, right, how to set up limit orders on Binance. I got, I make 39 cents off this post, right? You know what I make off Facebook? Nothing. Zero. Zilch. Let's see. Uh, anybody got any? X. Take a look at what's going on with the OX airdrop. See what news we can see. There we go. Look at the list for uh, December 2018. Let me see. Damn, Digitex do an airdrop. Definitely, if you haven't checked out Digitex, I think I did a, a review on them. No, I've looked at them a couple of times. Definitely uh, check them out. They're doing an airdrop. Let's see. Do, do, do. What? they doing an airdrop. Hold on. Bitcoin ABC and SV. This must be old. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. Let's see. So what do we want to look for? There we go. Upcoming. Uh let's sort by the start date. Some airdrop blah blah blah. blah. So use this list. What is the list at? I'm not even seeing anything. Let me see. So let's sort by start date. Let's see what all we got. Of course, we want to show more. OX is teaming up with Pollux. Let's see if we can find that news then.
Let's see. Okay, so we got some good chat. We got some good good uh, information coming in through the, uh, through the chat. I like that. ZRX holders can join the Pollux token distribution. You can post a uh, post a a link. Hmm. Ah, here we go. Okay, the first token airdrop for OX Protocol. OX Protocol is proud to announce the launch of the Pollux Network. We spent many hours together working with Pollux, developing our relay bases on their skilled AI capabilities. Now our community members can participate in the Pollux token genesis and claim PLX token freely. First distribution phase is already active. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Not really seeing nothing on it. Seeing a bunch of scam stuff though. Announcing our collaboration. Da da da. da. Oxproject.org. Hmm. I have to do some more research on that just to see what's really, really, really solid about it. Is that the one he just posted? Yes, it is. Let's see. MetaMask believes the domain could currently compromise your security and has prevented you from interacting with it. Thank you, MetaMask. So, yep, I guess I won't be looking at that story. And I do have the MetaMask uh, downloaded on my browser, so that was a good thing that stopped me from going through there. So let's move right along. Let's go back. Let's see who our top runners are. See if we can do some charting. Let's see. So we got Bitcoin private. Now, real quick, let's take a look at smart lands real quick. Let's go look at a 15 minute chart. See what type of pullback we have. Nice pullback down to 630. We went as high as 635. Right now down to $630.30. Let's see. Do I got anybody in the uh, viewing audience right now that is uh, is currently um, invested in Smartlands? Still up, still above six dollars. <laughs> trading at thirty six eighty four on the uh, on the uh, XLM side. Let's see. Oh yeah, right now. Oh, getting dumped hard. Thirty one actually. Look at the one minute interval. Should have known people were going to take profit around this area here. Let me see where can we find support at. This is versus the dollar. Let's see where we at. Let's get rid of this. There we go. Open this up just a tad bit. So we can start seeing the overall scheme of things. We're barely, I mean, barely, barely even taking a a a, a, a tip off the fingernail with this with this slight pullback we're seeing right now. Very, very, very slight pullback compared to how the whole chart overall is looking. Let's see. In fact, let's do this. Let's pull this up to new lows. Extend this to our new highs. Hmm. Okay, let's break this down. 12, four hours. There we go. Look at that little consolidation period starting to form. Back one hour. There we go. So let's open this up. What we did was we did a swing low to the swing high, coming down. Normal levels of retracement after a rally. I mean, look at the first rally. Let me see. 
do a retrace down the first one. We're doing a swing low to a swing high. Came up. Hmm. Let's. That means we would have to bring this one to about right here. Ah, look at that. Came up, broke down. Where do we meet? 61 before bouncing back up. 61 to 38. Came up. We tested 23. Broke back down. Weren't able to hold our gains. Once again, we came back down. I don't know if y'all can see that, but we retested. Open this up a little bit. That was like the final straw. And so we came up, broke down. Look, we bounced very slightly. And then wasn't able to hold that whatsoever. Came down, met some support. Tried to get our bearings, but it wasn't enough. We broke completely down. Now, did we stay down? Nope. We continued to rally afterwards. Continued to rally and we made higher highs. So you see we went through a, a nice down period. Very nice down period. And then started seeing higher highs. So we're still, there we go. There goes that dip. Look at that down to 614, which it already, where it already was. This is the hour charts we just started. Let's see, let's go 13, 30, go 15 minutes. There we go. That's that dump. Now, how low could we go? Let's see. We got supported about $5.80. We've broken this support level already. Yes, we have. Open this up. Based on fine support at psychological levels at about six dollars right now. You're trading at six dollars and fourteen cents. We got a lot of uh, not a lot of support levels at just because of the, the height at this that this thing, you know what I mean, chose to, to rise up. I mean, this thing took off like a monster, so there's no real levels where it consolidated that for any given amount of time. We got very, very, very low levels of support. Leading all the way down. Uh, still got a nice, nice way to go, though. Very nice way to go. Let me move that back. Dropping Bitcoin on moon in January. What am I actively trading right now? Um, Stellar, uh, that's Binance. Ugh, I'm shorting um, Ethereum. I think I'm shorting Ethereum. Uh, da, 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 da. Hold on, let me see. What, I got a couple different accounts. Just to name a few. Those are a few that I'm, I'm playing right now. I know Binance I snatched up when it was uh under five bucks. Hold on. Oh, Tron, ICX, Ethereum Classic, even. I snatched some of those up when they was a little low. And that's just the name of few. And I'm of course I'm on the Stellar X platform. Let me see. So let's see, we've come down. We met 31, We're getting brought back up now, 32. Like, see how quick this bounce happens. Just 31 minutes ago, we were trading at 36. So, like to see how quick the bulls come up and bear it uh, by this dip. If they do, always remember, nothing is guaranteed. Always remember, you got to play with money that you're not afraid to lose, family. That's the number one.
Nah, uh uh-uh. uh. Not on Big Max. Meta Trader. So yeah, definitely keep your eyes on uh smart lands. Definitely keep it. We're gonna keep our eyes on smart lands coming up. Let me see who else do we have. Let's see, six twelve. Let's refresh. See where we're at. Six oh nine. Let's see six oh nine. Down three percent for the day. Right now, that is. Let's see who else do we have in the top run. A Bitcoin private. Let me see. Let's bring Bitcoin private because I don't think Bitcoin private is on trading view but you can find it on coin signals here we go bitcoin private let's look at it versus usd what's this right here 15 minute chart hmm. very nice run off of bitcoin uh private pullback let's see look at a four hour wow look at that How's that for a turnaround? Let's see what we could have got. Let's see what they got most likely. Hundred and forty percent. Right now up a hundred percent. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's see. Let's just say if we would have bought in in a consolidation period. 82%. That ain't bad. From the 19th to what's the 29th right now? And, and to be, be honest with you, Bitcoin Private actually has a nice community. There's a lot of people that are actually behind Bitcoin Private. I support BTC Private right now. Where can you, where can you show Bitcoin Private at? That's a race that now. It's a four hour, so. Look at that dump down there. Clear cut down to the 23% uh, retracement level. And then a bounce. And right now holding this gain. Per the four hour candlestick, that is. The volumes, volume levels are extremely high. Uh, was extremely oversold. I mean, overbought up to about 88%. Dropping back down to the normal 70 right now, which is still overbought. So you could def- you def- you definitely was in uh room for a pullback on this. Let me see. Starting to lose positive momentum. On the Mac D. Clean crossover right here. You gotta that's what I'm saying. You gotta learn to use you, you gotta be able to look at a lot of uh, a lot of details at one time. And in your mind or in your brain, make it all make sense together. So let's just say, let me see. What's this? Uh, let's look at a day chart. Yeah, this thing dumped heavy. And then look at that amount of volume that came in over the last couple of days. Let me see. We haven't seen volume this high since when? Was that July 31st? Last time we cracked levels this high on the positive side. Yeah, we went into a real, real, real bad down period then since then. Very bad. Let's see. For losses of over. Also, if y'all got any coins y'all want me to check out, you already know y'all can post them now. Eighty-six percent loss. Ugly. Uh, what Sky Coin looking like? Let's look at Sky real quick. Ah, oh, okay. Well, I thought you could uh, short. I'm like, what? Let's look at Sky real quick. Look at the versus the United States dollar also. 
Uh, let's see. See if we can make sense out of this. Start off monthly. Okay. Weekly. Daily. Not sky is not looking. Uh, I mean, let's look at it on the weekly. This way, you add on the weekly chart. Pretty much, ooh, hitting, hitting lower levels. We're hitting lower levels of, damn, we're hitting, what is that, May lows of 2017 right now. We currently just broke our previous lower levels of, what is that, August of 2018. We broke below that. Right now, we're hitting the same lows of May of 2017. So sky, I mean, first thing I learned was the big M's and the W shapes. M's usually mean downtrends, W means uptrends, but that's just simple, like very, very beginner's TA. Um, you got do have a green candlestick coming in finally after a couple of weeks of uh negativity. Let's see. Started positive momentum slightly. Uh you do R, let's see, RSI. You are bouncing off of being close to being oversold. You bounce off of about 33, you're close to being oversold. Let's see, let's look at the 30 minute chart. Hmm. Okay. Okay, and that's why you gotta look at different time frames. Cause, okay. I mean, I, I see people were able to get some gains, but um, is it something that I would be willing to play with myself? I don't know, let's see. Got some nice games. Oh, over forty percent since the um. What day was this? Since around the twenty fifth. Not bad. Um, I would be looking for it to break above. There we go. Dollar fifty nine and a dollar sixty five respectively. Turn this into some type of strong support in order for it to continue to rally. Then you know you got a lot of stops along the way. A lot of gaps that need to be filled. Now let's see some. Man, that's ugly. I don't even know where to even try to pull. Do four hours. Let's do one hour. Yeah, that. Uh, um, me personally, I wouldn't. Uh, I mean, look at it. On a four hour chart. Yeah, I wouldn't really be looking at Sky. The tech behind the use case has promised. Oh, definitely. And that's what I usually say that when people are in the cryptocurrency, you got people that are in it for the tech that are looking at a long term. You got people that are in it for trading and really don't care too iotas about what the tech behind it is. They just want to, they know how to read charts and just go strictly off the charts. Feel like it's gonna be a while before Skycoin take off. Oh yeah, definitely. You got a lot of barriers to uh, break. Let me see. I mean, you came from you. You you said they said they said they bar real high. Look at this, seven dollars. We haven't even cracked like the the uh. Man, look at this, thirty two, thirty six bucks. Yeah, you got a long now at a dollar fifty. Where it's currently trading at? If you were behind this tech. Could you technically throw Trump change at it every couple of days? Yeah. Three dollars, four dollars, five dollars, whatever the uh minimum trading amount is on whatever platform it may be. I think this is on KuCoin, if not KuCoin Cryptopia. I traded with Sky a couple of times. I think it's on KuCoin, if I'm not mistaken. No, not KuCoin, uh Cryptopia, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe KuCoin though, but something like that. If you were really behind it, I mean I guess. Man, I don't know. Money you don't need. Don't remember, I'm not a financial advisor. 
you know, McDonald's money just don't go buy the Big Macs one day and go put it on some iCoin. But uh, definitely not something that would be in my uh, not on my not on my radar right now. Not really on my radar. Look at that already back up to thirty three, being bought up, sold off thirty five. So I don't know if anyone caught that dip at thirty one. I don't know if any. I'm telling you, it's a lot of promising behind Smartlands. It's definitely something that you're gonna want to have a couple of. In fact, I, I should have sent some more bread over there while I was down. Should have bought some more. But in fact, I just might do that. What time is it? 10:33 right now. What about? I've been live since what? 9:40. Almost going on an hour there. Let's see. We got any questions out there? Hotel game on Skycoin. Yeah, if you choose the hotel. If, if you choose the hotel. We got any questions out there? Any uh, any other requests? Let's see who else we got over here on smart land. Let's look at class 24. Okay, so we got extra black coin. Now, always remember, don't let this the 24 hour change fool you. You always want to look at the volume and see what's in there. If they got little or nothing over there, you could pump a coin to 500 percent with just 50, well, 100 bucks, really. If a coin absolutely has no volume, a little bit of money and move it and make the uh percentages look good to those that are just new to the space, thinking that they're uh, pulling in on something, you know, has promise and it doesn't. So I usually look at the 24 hour change. See the Chinese yen got 1.13 million in it. And second to them before the US dollar is smart land. With one over one million dollars within the last 24 hours. Now let's look at XLM. So I like to look at this in uh Satoshi uh wise. Oh. oh okay. <laughs> oh, Still gonna show the uh, 24 hour in X uh, USD though. <laughs> Let's look at XRP real quick. See if there is an entry. Oh, and this is what I want everyone to remember. Sometimes this is just not a trade to be had. Never force yourself to trade. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor of any sort. I'm not. A I'm just a guy that's in the cryptocurrency. Lark taught himself how to chart, but smart now smart land smart lands is used is um a security token used to digitize uh agriculture land. I've got pretty good reviews on my uh YouTube channel. You should definitely check them out. Hold on, let me see which one YouTube channel do I have? Let me see. Uh, this might be the one where I put them. Cryptonomic Council is my second. I got 111 angelic numbers. Uh, this is my second YouTube channel. Here's some videos. If not over here, then that means it is on the X, on the X, on the X, on the X, on the X. Yeah, I think it's all on the X over here. Not that I'm a Pundi X chiller, but I'm a, I'm long on Pundi. Yeah, so it ain't this one. So that means it would be on my Chicago Crypto Hustler page, which I'm live right now with eight watching. So let's look at our video. Where are those smart land? Here they go. Here they go. I got, I got a nice couple of them also. So I have. Dating back to three weeks ago, I think I should go. I think it goes back more. Okay, so I'll show you how to sign up for the Stella X. Um, I thought I had more. How to buy Smart Lands token on Stella X. I thought I did a whole Smart Lands review. I know I did. It may be part, it may be on there that I did the uh, Stella X actual review for uh, Smart Lands. Oh, uh, here goes the Smartlands update that I did not too long ago. I know I've done a couple of videos on Smartlands. I thought it should be way more than just this. That one's 14 minutes. Hmm. It may be this one where I, I did an in-depth look at it four weeks ago, too. Maybe this one. But you can definitely, I got, I got some pretty good reviews on my page. Uh, Pundi X smartphone is nice. Oh, definitely, definitely. Def oh, yeah, that, that smartphone, for you to have a wireless carrier, I mean, a, a 
what, what is it? Carry, yeah, wireless carry. No, non wireless carry. I don't don't get me saying anything wrong. But the fun function X, beautiful. XPOS systems, beautiful. Let's get back over here. Let's look at XRP. And we will look at XRP versus, let's do Tether on Binance. There we go. Ah, nice bounce. Yeah, what's this, a day chart? Oh, very nice bounce, okay. So, what's going on over here with Ripple? Well, let's see. For one, I can see we're coming out of a uh, negative momentum. Is a day chart? Hmm. Trying to see if I had any type of bad, bullish uh, aversions. Let me see. I mean, for the most part, Ripple's still breaking down. As you can see, we're making lower lows and lower highs. I mean, could you scalp it for a couple of pennies? Um, eh, yeah. What's this? Between 37 and maybe 39 cents. And like I said, we're just starting to have a turnaround on the MACD. We're losing a uh, negative momentum. Now, looking at the money flow index, we do have a buy-in indication right here on the 26th of November, which you can see indicated by the green arrow or the green check uh, plus mark, whatever you want to call it. Like I said, I'm just starting to use this indicator right here. I got a little practicing to do. I got a little reading up to do. But like I said, I look at this stuff and I make it make sense to me. Then I go figure out what you know what they say it's supposed to do. I mean, looking at this, look at this. Now, look look at the levels that it's hitting. Remember, Fibonacci works in both ways. So just like we got these higher levels up here that we're trying to reach, when you pull it the other way, you also got lower levels of support. So look at this. Look where it hit. Came down, hit your 161. Boom. Came down, hit your 261. Boom. Bounced off the 261 and using 161 as support now. Let's see. Where's 38? 38. Wow. Look at the support level down here at 361. Look at this previous support from September 18th. Could you retest these? Yes. If you're not able to find support around here. This is the day chart. Let's break down four hours, two hours, one hour. You're trying to get out of that negative momentum. You are trying. We'll give you that. Let's see. On a one hour, we are seeing high, high, high lows. Negative momentum on the MACD starting to lose. Uh, now, pay attention to this. Hmm. Well, I guess, never mind, never mind, never mind. I don't want to force seeing anything. You are starting to lose your negative momentum momentarily. Let's see how effective it was. Well, pretty good in that back then. Roll down here. Could break back up to the upside. It could use this right here as a very nice support line, even though you have made a, a lower low. Look at that. You did make a lower low. See that? So just be careful with trading in and out of uh, Ripple. Uh, let's see. What can we break down to? So I'll give you this much. Uh, right now, it's trading at 38 cents. If you're not able to hold your gains here, you can break down to 37. 67, 36, 51, and 34.99. Um, overhead resistance. 
We have it 3875. 3957 and 4047 overhead. These are your obstacles to beat. These are your support levels you can use to stop limits or whatever, you know, indicators uh, or what may, what have you. That was it. Going on 1043 right now. We're going to last for about an hour. What I'm going to do is I'm going to end this here. I'm going to come back and I'm going to do my own technical analysis. I'm trying to pick like five coins. Ugh. No, yeah, five top coins. Maybe six, maybe eight. Yeah, eight's too many. Five or six top coins in order for me to do a, a daily technical analysis on. If anyone has any suggestions, go on my social media sites and post them. Um, in fact, I may do a poll. I may do a poll on Facebook and ask what five coins people want me to do a, a daily TA on. That's what I'm going to do. So if you're not following me on Facebook, follow me on Facebook at Amir Hodari. Follow me on IG at Chicago underscore crypto underscore bully or Chicago crypto bully. And follow me on Twitter at Chicago crypto and the number four. To the next video, this is Amir, the Chicago crypto hustler, Bitcoin block bully. I want to thank everyone that tuned in with me today and was able to be present to get the little information that I did bring. I hope it was helpful. You can tell us about most high plus you don't drag it to me. I don't know about ethos, stock, arch, substratum. I don't know about. Though a lot of these, just like last time, are all gonna shoot up, you know. Um, as far as me pinpointing, I mean, I do that on a daily on my social media sites. I look at the coins that I'm looking at. Um, just for instance, we'll look at smart lands. I've been talking about smart lands since it was trading at around three hundred three dollars and like seventy five cents. It's gone up to about six dollars and forty six cents since then, and that was within twenty nine within thirty days. So, you know, just stuff like that. Just follow me on the social media site, man. Thank you, for brother Rashid. Till the next video, this is Amir Chicago Crypto Hustler family. Peace, power, and prosperity. I am out of here.